Okay guys, so don't judge me right now, but I already changed my clothes because I did a wonderful full day of shopping with my mother-in-law today and I went to this awesome consignment shop in the next state over and it was awesome and I got a lot of shoes so I gotta take my big fluffy socks off to show you my shoes <laughs> so don't mind me um but I got me some new shoes today I love shoes shoes oh my gosh shoes so I bought these bad boys which they are gorgeous you will never guess how much I bought these for at the consignment shop let me, let me put them on my foot you will not appreciate it unless it's on my foot. Look how beautiful they are. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. I got them for six dollars. <laughs> so I bought those. And then I bought these awesome shoes as well. Um, these bad boys. You can see how new they are. Nobody hardly ever wore them. What was wrong with these little babies? They needed a home too. They like love, they like people, but they're gorgeous. And I love these shoes too, which I also bought for $6. Oh, it's gonna look good with so many outfits. God, it looks so good. And then, of course, you know, we went to Shoe Carnival, which everybody likes Shoe Carnival, which is a shoe store around here. And my mother-in-law bought a pair of shoes and I bought some for half off. And look at these schmexy, schmexy shoes. I got these for $14.99 for half off. Aren't these amazing? And when I put them on, my husband said, those look like some librarian shoes. And I said, but there's some, there's some good looking librarian shoes though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I absolutely love them. They're gorgeous as well. <laughs> They're so beautiful. And then of course I had to buy me some pretty um, hair pieces, which I didn't get at the consignment shop. I actually got them um, at Icing's. And <laughs> Icing's is the best place to buy accessories for a vintage gal. So you don't actually necessarily have to buy um, vintage clothing at a vintage shop. So like, I love Unique Vintage, I love Titania's, I love uh, Heart to Haunt, and I love the pinup girl clothing. I love all those places. But you can buy some really great um, vintage pieces, you know, that look vintage, but they're new. So like I bought this pretty little hair piece to wear in my hair. I got that at Icing's, and then I also got this gorgeous little bow. It's so pretty. It needed a home, too. And I got them for buy one, get one half off, and then I bought... Oh, my goodness. I love these earrings. They're so cute. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at those earrings. Let me show you up close. Oh, it's so cute. They're so pretty. Yes. So, that's what I got today, and I got a dress that wasn't so vintagey. Because my mother-in-law said, oh, you'd look nice in that. And sometimes, I, I'm really glad I always bring her along when I go shopping because she will pick things out that I'm like, no, I'm, that's, that's not me. That's not me. I'm not going to look good in that. That's just not my style. Then I put it on, and then I like it. So I take her along with me because she's great to shop with. And by the way, if you can't already tell, this is day two with my poodle curls. So hopefully you've already watched my uh, tutorial on how to do this hairstyle. All I actually did was I put a hair cap over this hairstyle and went to bed. And then I put a bandana over it, went to go exercise at my CrossFit place that I love to exercise at. CrossFit, what? Yeah, we can do it. So I love that place. And then um, I actually kind of took my hair down and put a little dry shampoo in it. But you could just leave it up anyways and then just kind of straighten out your fuzzies and put a new bow in. So you can tell I kind of moved my curls around a little bit. And I kind of took it down and just kind of put some pomade through it. But yeah, that's rocking awesome when you can rock out a hairstyle for two days. You don't have to do anything. Awesome. So that's all I got for you guys today. <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Check out my Facebook and my Instagram. Holla at you later. And make sure you read irresponsibly. Booyah. Word. To your mother or something.